individuals here to talk about Title IX. If you guys didn't know, Josh Green, you have the power to veto this uh, bad bill, or if you guys are amending in 1972, you made this Title IX to uh, prevent girls from going into boys' sports. It's some weird stuff about transgenderism, about people having suicide thoughts because girls want to be boys, boys want to be girls, but you're messing up everything between genotypes and phenotypes. Girls are XX chromosomes, boys, male are XY, dudes are Y. Girls are XX. Now apparently this transgender is weird stuff is the Biden administration through Hallis are shoving this down our throats unilateral top down and it goes into effect August 1st. For all you moms, grandmas out there, if you didn't know, they're going to make girls be able to change their gender if they want to boys. Boys can chop off their boat to become a girl and do whatever kind of stuff in the weird locker room and utu utu bang bang. There's no regulations. They've got to take their home because it's really freaking strange. And unless you're part of Moms for Liberty, they're putting an injunction and if you're a parent, you're allowed to not have your kids go to this system of the federal regulation that's going to be implemented August 1st, all nationwide through all federally funded schools and programs. So they're really shoving it down our throats and you want to protect your daughters, you want to protect your sons and whatever kind of weird stuff's going to happen. I'd highly recommend you contact Josh Green, you contact Joe Biden, all the donkeys who like shark it, they probably like it up to Okole Puka, if you don't understand Hawaiian, I'm just going to call it like it is right in front of the crap little building and what the heck is going down? Because a lot of people killed themselves, committed suicide, and we got people like Gilda Rocks from the Heart saying a 20 year old killed herself a day ago because people are committing suicide of this craziness. And if you didn't know, they're trying to make this woke mentality. They're not trying to take away your love, your family. It's called Marxism. They're trying to separate your identity from who you are, your family values, and take you away from the bourgeois, whatever fancy class, and kill the middle class. But what about the regular people? We're just trying to go to school, get good grades, go to college to have a life. And you know, houses are expensive. We're supposed to be talking about housing, inflation, economy, Merch Marine Jones Act, what's going on with our schools, the housing, the water, the food. There's a lot of issues we have to address that Crazy Maisie isn't addressing. She won't debate any of us. And guess what? I'm not alone. Hello. She's running for U.S. Senator with me. Guess who also running for Senator? Terry Kiyosavainea. She's right there. We're just sign waving. We're not even the same party, but we're still all here. Bob McCormick is literally outside, face painting all of his face with suntan lotion. He's the one who got us out of here, but the white guy is so white, he looked like he's going to Waikiki Beach. And the star advertiser said that he has the primary one. How the frick is that possible when you won't even publish my stuff? And she's a Republican too. What is going on? Terry, any thoughts on this? Title nine opposed. No, say no, ever. Right, we're getting hearts coming in from the ladies. Without the ladies, there's no babies. I'm a dude, but I agree with these ladies saying because I don't want my daughter to get too bang bang or screwed with some bullyism, some weird shit because they can do sleepovers, take them on trips, and I don't agree with that stuff. Girls stay with the girls, boys will stay with the boys. That's right. That's a platypus or male seahorse. That's a different species. Totally not homo erectus, not homo sapien, homo crazy. All right, so let's see you guys follow, support local, all of us. You can see us on the ballot, and Emil just interviewed us saying it's unconstitutional. Because you shouldn't be forced to choose the party before you choose the candidate. It should be based on character and who you like as a person that you feel is going to be the best job for your community, for the people, for the nation, for your heart. Chihu! Love you all. Aloha! Chihu! My name.